I guess we haven't really talked about what's been going on with all these protests and stuff. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts or, or feelings or what, what it's, if it's inspiring or, or what, I, I don't know. Like, what are you, how do you gauge it? What's, what's the, what's the feeling like in Detroit right now? Well, I know there's been definitely a few protests. I think Stephanie actually participated in, mm-hmm. in one of the protests. Um, okay. So I'll let her speak first since she actually was out sure. there. Um, I just think that um, as far as like the racial racial situations here in America, that I mean, these things are continuously happening and they were eventually going to come to a head. Um, the marches downtown, as far as I could, well, not just downtown, but the marches in Detroit have been fairly um, uneven. I mean, they've been they've been peaceful as far as I could tell. There were a few people. Cutting up like I know you hear about um, people with different agendas, yeah, um, mm-hmm. participating and vandalizing. I didn't see any of that going on, but I could tell there was some trouble later on that night. Actually, the first night that I went, um, somebody ended up getting shot. It didn't have anything to do with the protest, but mm-hmm. it, um, I mean, the energy here. I, I love my people, and we stand up for what's right. And I just think that these marches and these protests just mean a lot more to other people looking in because this is really the first time I've seen such uh, what's the word diverse since I've seen such a diverse crowd right and these posts it's usually always black people it's this is the first time I've seen it so diverse and I you know I I don't know if that'll make us be heard more I feel like it is uh, there's definitely um, shit yeah and it's not about just being white or being black, but it's just that everybody is just tired. Even the little stuff. And Jemima changed their. Uh, I saw that today. Logo, you know, it's just like the little stuff is, is all is going to add up. Yeah, yeah but a lot I mean, of that stuff is also performative, I believe. Okay, yeah. yeah. You're right. uh, you know, but. You're probably right. Little steps. <laughs> little, steps little, little steps. Little steps. They're hearing. They're hearing. But, you know? you know, it's really about what you're doing in the communities that matters to me. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, that those changes need to be made, but also in addition to, there needs to be some real action going mm-hmm. on in the community. Yeah, I saw a great headline. I saw a great headline that was like, uh, why, uh, why now, white people? <laughs> <laughs> Man, wow. the headline yeah. of the century. Why you know, not? I, you know, again, social media, social, people, yeah. and 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 you know, it's not. It's younger people are starting to say, like, wait a minute. They starting to get it and see, like, okay, yes, black people. We went through. We went through slavery. We went through uh, segregation. segregation um, Jim Crow. Uh, you know, so it's it, it, it's not as easy as saying, like, okay, well, we all have the same opportunities. Uh, we have the same opportunities, but it's not a fair system. It's not on an even, even playing field. Playing field. Yeah. And even in music, it's, it's not an even playing field. But that's, you know, you know, I, I'm not the kind of person that was, was complaining about it, but, you know, I just keep trying to push forward and hope for change. And now I think, like, that, you know, people are more aware of, see, all this police brutality, and and, and, and they, they dig deeper in, into the history, and, and they realize, like, this has got to change. This is not it's not right. It's just not right. We all are. We all bleed the same. We're human. We love the same. Amen. You know. I mean, we all might love differently, but you know what I mean. We still have <laughs> that capability. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, but it's time for a change. Let's just be. And and, and you know, and not and not even just so much. Even like, uh, I mean, definitely racial changes, racial right. divide changes. Right. But also, I'm totally into defunding the police. It, it because mm. I feel that. The officers that come into our communities who don't live there are not, even if they do, are not trained to deal with the situations that are happening. So you end up with something that happened like with George George Floyd or Malice Green, that they, they're just not trained. And why would you send this person into this environment or into the situation where, you know, I, I'm having an argument with someone. That doesn't that's the way that they try to de-escalate situations is just a little they're just not they're not they can't handle the situations yeah, the and on top of all that they're, they're armed they have guns and they have a tool that de-escalate can escalate any situation yeah. be, like beyond beyond what anything else could exactly a couple a taser yeah. a gun yeah yeah, yeah. they're only going to escalate not de-escalate exactly they don't sure. they, exactly 
and yeah. and if they're you know if they're not living in that community, they don't have the same vested interest in making Absolutely. it a, a pleasant, livable, safe yeah. place. You yeah. know, we aired, we aired the clip uh, a few weeks ago of uh, of what happened to Kenny Dixon, what uh, what happened to Moody Man, right. Um, right. where right. like right yeah, like, like, or and, something like that. Yeah, perfect and, example. And, yeah, perfect example, yeah. and also, but also what we spoke about then was that you know the clip. Um, you know, this, this incident happened and, you know, there was, there was some, you know, so if you don't, if you don't, if you haven't seen the clip, if you haven't seen the clip, um, Moody man is in his car in front of his house and the police come and actually don't believe that it's his house and they're telling him to get out of the car and they're, you know, right. really escalating the yeah. situation. He's mm -hmm. really just like scared and upset and just trying to explain and they just won't let him explain. Wow. Um, Luckily, it did end up getting solved, but like not after he got not before he got arrested, you know. Yeah, right. And then, yeah, and then like, obviously, it got sorted right. out. But like, yeah. you know, you see how the police were not looking out for him. This is his home. Right. And he was exactly. in front so, of his own home. Exactly. So if he do something wrong, like try to run or fight back, because he and his he feel like he is right. Then obviously, you shouldn't. But let's say for whatever reason, he panics. Think these guys are trying to take me out. I gotta just try to survive. Yeah, now you scary. got a situation where you, you can get shot or killed. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, I, I yeah. saw a great. I saw a great. Sorry, I know you had a uh, uh, something to finish up, but let's, I saw a yeah. great uh, a great quote today, which is like, "When did it become okay for the police even to kill bad people?" Right? It's like even right. if someone's <laughs> run, the police are not allowed to kill them. You're right. guilty until proven innocent. This is the United States of America. Right. So it's yeah. like that's a very good point. Yeah. It's not like it's he, not like he was doing yeah. something wrong or he was doing something. No, it's not your job as a police officer to kill somebody. Yeah. It's technically yeah. only in, in self-defense, which just, half these cases have nothing they to claim. do with it. Right. It's, it's not like the Starsky and Hutch days. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> they they were like police, but they they'll fight you before they kill you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>